In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get chat within Bing to generate a Python program. You need to go to this URL, which I'm showing appearing now in a larger font. I then recommend that you click onto chat here and you will then be presented with the following screen. You can choose a conversational style and you can see that I have chosen more precise. And into here, I am going to enter something I've already prepared. So I'm going to paste it into here and it is write a Python program to greet a user. And then you click on this arrowhead and you wait. And you'll note here, it's put my prompt where it is saying write a Python program to greet a user. And then over here, you can see I have the response. It is worth pointing out that the prompt I enter appears here and the response from chat appears in this position. And this layout continues as you have a conversation with chat within Bing. If we consider the response, it says, sure, here's a simple Python program that prompts the user for the name and then greets them. And here you can see it has produced the computer program. And down here it goes on to say, this program uses the input function to prompt the user for the name and stores it in a variable called name. Then it uses an F string to print a greeting that includes the user's name. Is there anything else you would like to know about this program? So I could go on and type something else in here if I so wished. What I'd like to do now, however, is to copy this program and to put it into an editor and run it to see if it works. Now there are two ways of copying. One is I can come to here and you'll notice I can click on to more and click on to copy. Now if I do that, it'll copy everything that's here and I only want this bit. So what I intend to do is to drag across that using my mouse, highlight it all, right click on the mouse and say copy and now I know I can paste it in my Python editor and run it to see if it works. So you can see that I've pasted the code I've just copied into my editor and I've saved the file and now I will run it and the runtime is shown here and you'll note that this bit of the program puts that string here. The user will now enter their name and as I'm the user I will enter John Philip Jones. This string is then assigned to name and then of course what this line will do it'll output the following and that hello the comma and the space is placed here and this is saying print whatever stored in the variable name here which is John Philip Jones and then of course it prints this explanation mark here so you can see the program does what I wanted it to do it's asked for the user's name and then it said hello to the user so we can see that Bing chat has indeed generated the code for us I'm now going to ask it another question associated with this program and I'm going to paste it in because I've pre-prepared it and then I'm going to hit the arrow and I'm asking it to write the code without the F string so off it will go and produce the code and you can see its response is shown here and if you have a look at the code you can see on this line it doesn't use the F string, it uses the concat operator. And it's used in two places, as you can see. Now you can now copy this code and test to see that it actually works. I can see by looking at the code that it indeed will work. But what you've witnessed here is a conversation I've had with chat within Bing, asking it to write me some code. Ask to rewrite the code. Now what I could do here, I could ask it a question to compare the concatenation operator with the F string. But you will remember, if you're following the videos in the playlist, I did this using chat GPT in the previous video and it gave me an appropriate response. I'll do it here, but I won't go on to read it. I'll just see for curiosity's sake if it gives me a similar response to what it did when I did it in the last video. 
You can see the question I've typed in is please compare the F string with the use of the concatenator operator. It's not exactly the same as the question I asked in the previous video, but it's close enough for the conversation I'm having with it at the moment. I want to know what it's got to say about using both of these approaches to displaying messages on the screen. So I will now click the arrowhead and see what it actually gives us. Here it comes. Well, it gives a different response, but of course it's showing us that indeed it's quite useful at explaining things. I'll let you pause the video in appropriate places if you wish to read what it's actually said, but I will draw your attention to this paragraph. It says, In general, F-strings can be more concise and easier to read than using the concatenation operator. Now that is something it said when we use chat GP. What is different is here it says, however, f-strings are only available in Python 3.6 and later versions. If you are using an earlier version of Python, or if you prefer not to use f-strings for some other reason, you can use the concatenation operator instead. So there's some new information and it's going on to give you more details about Python and version numbers of Python and what is and is not available in other versions of the language. So you can see that Bing Chat is a very useful tool for generating Python programs and giving you a description of what goes on when you consider what the program actually does. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.